As of May 2nd, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 3,267,184 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally with 229,971 deaths. There are now 1,340,591 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. As of Sunday, May 3rd, 2020, St. Lucia recorded another case of COVID-19, bringing the national total of confirmed cases to 18. A total of 52 samples were tested on Saturday, May 2nd, 2020. The individual is a 51-year-old male who sought care at one of the respiratory clinics with a dry cough, but none of the other accompanying symptoms of COVID-19. He has no known travel history, and we are in the process of investigating the source. The individual is currently in care within our respiratory hospital and is responding well to care. The Ministry of Health's contact tracing team is undertaking the necessary follow-up for the identification and quarantine of contacts of this case. The emergence of cases on the East Coast continues to be of concern to the Ministry of Health as we continue to receive reports of entry through unofficial channels. We continue to strengthen our surveillance in these areas and anticipate the detection of more cases as community testing increases. COVID-19 poses a risk of transmission to every individual, irrespective of age, socioeconomic status, or gender. However, data from the epidemiological department indicates the existing respiratory clinic services are largely being accessed by females. It is an established trend that men tend to be delayed in their seeking of clinical care, sometimes until the condition has advanced significantly. Our males are important segments of society, especially in their roles of spouses, fathers, breadwinners, leaders, and protectors. And as such, when our men are protective of their health choices, it benefits a large cross-section of our society. We particularly encourage men who may be feeling symptomatic to also seek care early, as this can prevent possible complications and allows for achieving better health outcomes. The Ministry of Health, notes that data trends for the region of the Americas and more specifically the Caribbean demonstrate continued increases in the number of cases of COVID-19. This should highlight prior statements which we have issued cautioning that we should maintain our level of vigilance as we are still at risk for COVID-19. It is important to monitor one's health and take note of feelings of being unwell which include a dry cough, fever, sore throat, shortness of breath, body aches, as well as the loss of smell or taste and to seek care in a timely manner. All of these alone or in combination could be indications of COVID-19 infection. Care can be obtained at no cost at any one of our five respiratory clinics island-wide and if further information is required on this service, the public may call the 311 hotline. The Department of Health and Wellness will continue to provide the public with regular updates on COVID-19. In the interim, we encourage everyone to maintain the recommended hygiene measures. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer where soap and water may not be available. Cover your coughs and sneezes and use tissue and throw it in a bin after use. Use a cloth mask when going out in public and do not share these masks with others and wash them daily. Maintain physical distancing protocols at all times. Together, through these actions, we shall be able to reduce the threat of COVID-19.